How can I assist you today? Okay, so this is Shop Talk. It's a chopping list app that you can control entirely with your voice. And to show it off today, I'm gonna to do something a little bit risky. I'm gonna invite my boss, Jamie, on to help me build a shopping list together. Hi, Jamie. Hey, I'm ready to build a list. Let's do it. So I think since joining Convex, I've noticed that AI is just starting to take over the world. And before some clever startup, perhaps called Skynet comes along, um, I think it might be wise we do a little bit of prep work and maybe produce a doomsday shopping list. What do you think? Yeah, let's prepare for the end of the world. That sounds like fun. <laughs> <laughs> let's have a go. Please create a AI doomsday shopping list. The AI doomsday shopping list. Uh, is open that list. Right. What items would you like to add? Open that list, please. The AI doomsday shopping list is now open. Maybe I'll add what some. What would you like to do next? First to that list. Um, sure. Add some rice, please. Rice has been added to the list. There it is. Any other items food you covered. want to How add? How about we get water covered now? Let me add something here. Can we please add water purification tablets to the list? Water purification nice. tablets have been added to the list. Nice. Um, let's add some weapons so we can fight off the AI hordes. <laughs> Weapons have been added to the list. Oh, man. What's yeah. next? Oh, that's awesome. It just spread it all out and added all the individual things there. Nice. All right. Okay, cool. Let me try something here. Um, uh, could we uh, remove anything that requires ammunition? Because we might run out. All items that require Everything. ammunition have been removed <laughs> from the list. Uh, we could probably correct it, right? Let's see if it... Um, I think that a baton didn't require ammunition, right? Like we could probably keep that one. The South yeah, baton you know, there it is. Okay. <laughs> nice. Well, I, I like the, the starting point here, Mike. We've got like our food, our water, and a means of defending it. I feel I, like we've we've yeah. made progress. <laughs> we've got we've got the minimal uh, essentials covered. I think. Yeah. Yeah. That's right. Okay. Okay. Well, thanks for that, Jamie. Um, and um, yeah, I'll see you soon. All right. Thanks, Mike. See ya. Bye. Well, that went okay-ish. Um, now you know what I built. Let's have a look and see how I built it. So before we begin, let's uh, just take a quick high level view of how all this works. So um, we have our Shop Talk app, uh, which is a standard React app. And inside there, we have our daily bot client. So that is the meat of the project. It uh, it it controls the voice, the text to speech, the, the speech to text, and the uh, LLM integration. And then we have the convex client, which talks to the convex backend, which has actions, mutations, and queries in it. And that allows us to then sync our state down to the other devices that are connected to the backend. So obviously the headline feature of Shop Talk is its ability or your ability to talk to it and have it talk back to you. And the way that I achieved that is by using a really, really cool platform library, whatever you want to call it, called Daily Bots. And what Daily Bots does is it uh, combines several tools together into a single cohesive whole, allowing you to make an app like this. So it does the speech to text part which is uh, translates what I say into text. And then it does the uh, LLM part, so it takes that text and feeds it into a large language model to do the processing. And then it takes the text that the large lang language model takes back out and converts that into text to play via sound back to me. So we can hear what the AI is saying. But just to be clear, DailyBots isn't a model in itself. It's uh, more of an orchestration platform that combines various services together and then layers on some features on top such as interruption handling and background noise reduction and multi-turn context management these are things a low level features you'd have to write yourself so it's great that daily bots can take care of that for you so you don't have to do it yourself and so for the specifics of this project um, i used the speech to text model uh, deepgram i used uh, the text to speech model uh, cartesia and the LLM is just OpenAI, so um, GPT-4 Mini. 
If this was to be like a real like business project, I probably would experiment with what I used here to see which ones work better or not. And depending upon your cost and your business model and so on and so forth. So now that we have our daily bot service in place, the way that we get that to interact with the rest of our application is via function calling. So function calling works by giving the LLM a number of tools that it can use. And the way it works is like, when you ask the LLM a question, for example, please create me a new shopping list called date night. It may return with some text that's intended for you, such as sure, I will do that now. But then it will also provide some small piece of hidden text which will be structured in a way that it is to execute one of these functions. So here are some functions. So for example, we have the function create shopping list, which creates a new shopping list. Then we have a function for get current list, get the current route, because don't forget from the demo, you can change the route of the page using your voice. Um, you can add items to a list, you can add a single item to a list, we can update and so on and so forth. So just note that these are only function definitions. So these are only what we pass to the LLM when we pass the prompt to tell it the, th the tools that it can use. Um, when the model responds um, and it says in its little hidden output, I want to use a certain tool, we then have to handle that. So where that comes in is in the function call handler. And this happens on the client side. So. Um, the way I've implemented it is in, a, is in a React component. If we just scroll down here to the LLM helper handle function call and we're past some parameters and we scroll down here and we can see here, this is where we handle every single function name um, that we have in our application. And if we want to just take an example, like we said, I want to create a shopping list called date night, for example, um, what we're going to do is we're going to take that and then we're going to uh, pull out the name of the list that we want to create and then we're going to call this create list function which is our mutation that we should, our convex mutation which we defined up here and if we want to quickly take a look at what that function does that mutation does we can see here it just inserts into our convex database um, into the shopping list table with the given name and obviously because of the way convex works any changes that we make to our database, which is a reactive database, will get synced down to all clients automatically for us. One of the cool thing of Shop Talk I wanted to talk about is the transcripts feature. This is actually a ability provided to us by DailyBots and allows us to output the transcript of our speech to text directly onto the screen. And this provides really great feedback to the user to make sure that the model heard what you actually said. So is this the future of apps? Ah, I'm not so sure. Well, it's really cool and relatively easy to implement. I would worry about two main barriers. First, the current cost economics. Even though DailyBots is a really cost-effective solution, it is still quite expensive. For example, for 10 minutes of usage, that would cost 20 cents. And while that might not sound like a lot, if your users are using your apps for hours and upon hours a day, this could get quite expensive very quickly. Secondly, users have been trained to interact with apps using their mouse and keyboard. So getting them to change that behavior to use their voice could be challenging. Having said that though, I can imagine some of this technology being integrated into our general uh, assistants like Siri, Google, Alexa. Uh, I can imagine saying something like, I want pizza tonight, please add these ingredients to my shopping list and then having it update my list in the background without me requiring to open the apps. Uh, I can imagine that being like truly a compelling uh, use case. So that's it for this video. I hope you enjoyed watching. Let me know in the comments below if you think we'll be seeing more of this kind of voice control interface from apps in the future or not. Until next time.